Hello, welcome to a short video where I'll show you how to move an Enterprise Vault Store partition. There are many reasons why you might need to move a Vault Store partition. With all the planning that you would do for an Enterprise Vault installation, sometimes the unexpected happens and quite simply the volume containing the Vault Store partition starts to get very close to capacity. So you want to move a partition to free up some space. Another reason to move a vault style partition might be that you have been doing performance analysis and decided that the drive or volume containing the vault style partition is approaching the maximum I.O. Finally, you might be moving vault style partition data because you want to add a level of server-based resilience by having your storage no longer local to the EV server. In the video, we'll go through a number of steps. We'll decide on a partition to move We'll put that vault store that houses that partition into backup mode. We'll back up the partition. Then we'll copy the data to a new location. We'll update SQL to indicate where the new location is. We'll rename the old location. Then we'll test some retrievals of archived items. We'll take the vault store out of backup mode. And then a number of days later, after we've done some monitoring and uh, investigation of the event logs to make sure there are no problems, we'll delete the old partition. This list forms a thorough or rigorous approach to moving the data and contains multiple fail safes in case any issues are encountered. We'll now go through these steps. Here's my Enterprise Vault server and deciding on a partition is the first step. It's usually quite straightforward and the choice in the end is down to you. In this demo environment I've not got very much data, but let's have a look in Windows Explorer at some of the partition data. Here you can see I've got a number of different partitions and I'm just going to quickly look at the sizes of each of them. For the purposes of this video, let's say that we're going to move this first partition in Vault Store 1. So the first step that we need to do is put this Vault Store in backup mode. This prevents changes to the partition, no deletes can take place and no extra data can be archived or written to the partition. It's important to note that at this time users can still retrieve data using all the available mechanisms that they normally use e.g. building vault cache, double clicking on an item, clicking a link in search and using Outlook Web Access. Now we back up the actual partition data. To do this you could use your normal backup software or do a Windows Server backup or simply just copy the data to another location. We have now backed up the partition. This is the first of our failsafes since we always have this point to go back to should we need to. I'll show you how to simply use Windows Explorer now to drag and drop and copy the data to the new location. But you might also use a robocopy script to do the operation. Sometimes though it's hard to see the progress properly because Windows has a habit of not really working well with these progress bars in Explorer. It's also not resumable so if the copy is interrupted you have to start again. An alternative is to use Robocopy to do the copy. This is better because it's resumable and it's also much better at copying the files than Explorer. It has a better ability to use multiple threads to copy the data. We now wait a little while for the copy to take place. In your environment this might take many hours. Whilst this is running one of the things that I like to do as another failsafe is view the folder properties of the source and make a note of the number of files and the bytes that are there. We can then compare that with the destination once the copy has completed. Over here on the left you see the source partition information and over here on the right is where we copied the data to. Now that the copy is completed we can use SQL Server Management Studio to look at the partition entry table in the Enterprise Vault directory database. 
Note, it's good practice to also make a backup of the database at this time, just in case a mistake is made. Here we can see the partition pointing to the old location. We'll do a simple update statement to change this now to the new path. Now, all our allowed operations will go to this new partition. Remember though, we're still in backup mode for the vault store, so our only allowed operation at the moment is retrievals. Back in Windows Explorer, we can go and rename the old folder. Now we'll test retrievals from an archive that I know exists in this vault store. Now that retrievals have been confirmed to still be working, we can take the vault store out of backup mode. What we would normally do now that the move has successfully taken place is we would monitor the event log for a number of days. We'd probably wait for two or three backup cycles to complete and also two or three archiving cycles. Again, this is more about adding failsafes. Once we're done with that, we can then delete the old folder location. In summary then, we've seen a number of reasons why you may need to move vault store partition data. We've also walked through a robust process for copying, monitoring, and then deleting the data. The only caveat to this process is that you don't wait until you've actually run out of space before starting it. I hope that showing you how to move a vault store partition in Enterprise Vault 10 proves useful to you. Thank you. Goodbye.